All right, number three, your project for a massive mega mart is under review for permit. The reviewers are alarmed by the amount of hard, non-porous surface, huge roof, and enormous parking lot. Some of the issues that you should consider are likely to be, choose three, uh, adding deciduous trees, retention and detention ponds, roof emissivity, uh, minimum parking space sizing, bioswales, cisterns. So the, clearly with the addition of non-porous surface, uh, what this question is really about, uh, the reviewers are alarmed by how much non-porous surface there is. This is about flooding. This is about uh, there's too much water on the site, can't just penetrate down and become part of the uh, water table, it can't just get into the ground, it's actually being uh, collected and taken somewhere. Uh, and so the cities, uh, and especially the big suburban areas, uh, are very nervous around uh, the country because there's just so much flooding, uh, and there's so much flooding because we have so many big buildings, so many big parking lots, and all of this stuff gets, gets collected. So what do you need to do? Um, well, if we're adding deciduous trees, that would be very helpful from uh, a, a heat island effect, but it's not really anything about non-porous uh, surfaces. It actually does affect, uh, you know, having a bunch of tree roots and things will affect the water around, uh, but it's just not one of the primary things that you would do. So adding trees is great, it's just not the question that we're talking about. So, uh, so that's not it. Uh, retention and detention ponds. You better believe it. Uh, so B is absolutely. So what are those? That's where I have a whole big area off to the side of our parking lot, maybe off the side of the roof as well, uh, where the water can flow. And retention and detention ponds are a little different, um, but the gist of them is it gives a place for all of that water to rush to, and then it can sit there in a detention pond. Uh, you're detaining it, uh, and that means it's going to eventually go into the system. In a retention pond, you're uh, holding it for uh, a longer period, and it's actually you're creating ponds around the site. That's why when you go out and you see those big uh, um, ponds with the little fountains in them and things at big shopping malls, that's what that is. It's not actually there to be a beautiful pond. It's there to deal with runoff issues from those giant parking lots, uh, and then you might as well make it as beautiful as you can. So B is so far good. Roof emissivity, that's uh, kind of dealing with the amount of sunlight and how it either absorbs into the roof and can be useful or negative depending on the season, uh, or uh, comparatively how much of that uh, solar gain gets bounced back uh, towards the sky. Another interesting and important thing, kind of like the deciduous trees, but actually not what we're talking about here. Uh, minimum parking space sizing, that's absolutely part of the question, like how big of the parking lots do you really need? Uh, but when I look at the other two, bioswales and cisterns, those are definitely better answers. So I'm going to do uh, E and F. Uh, the bioswales are uh, similar to uh, uh, the retention ponds. They're places where the water can gather. Uh, they're uh, planted with plants that can accept a great deal of water, but then can also dry out. So it uh, gives a place for the water to go until it can get uh, absorbed into the ground. Cisterns are just big collection devices that you can then reuse the water uh, or send it on its way to uh, the storm system once the big storms have passed and you're not, uh, you're not likely to flood anybody out at that point. So B, E, and F.